good afternoon i don't know you know uh, at the at they say the glucose load are how many people want to hear something new about startups <laughs> but uh, thank you for inviting me uh, harbinder especially uh, he insisted that i come down and uh, anurag batra for trying to uh, persuade me to come here um look i'm i'm not going to say something which you don't know yeah there certainly enough and more information everywhere but i want to contextualize why i feel that uh, women's health is important and at this stage in our country and why we need to do a little more and how can therefore the new ecosystem get incorporated into it and i'm going to give you a very interesting stat or uh, in a way slightly shameful stat in india access to healthcare in reality in a reasonable way i'm not talking about just getting a headache tablet or something but if you get to a proper center for healthcare is roughly about 40% of the population it's not more than 40% of the population which ties in with generally the treatment rates in this country of being around 35 to 40% for most of the diseases um now you might say that's low but do you realize behind these figures why is it low and then you take the gender bias of that treatment rate or the access to healthcare the access to healthcare is 60% for men and 20% for women and then this starts to become far more in a way serious as an issue slightly dangerous from a societal point of view and there comes the situation where we start to we have to start to think that why does this happen and how should it be taken care of we always create figures by which we are able to show that india's healthcare is moving better that we are moving faster we are trying to do a lot of things but in reality some of these issues have remained with us for very very long time um there is no company in india which generally likes to claim that they are a women's health company yeah no one orders will claim that they are a diabetes company or some other company while make some claim on being an oncology company so those are things which people talk about yeah but have you heard anybody talking about being a women's health company hardly anybody would say that yeah we try to say that now because we are trying to build around as a company a portfolio to say this yeah but it's again something to think of that why is it so unattractive for everybody to focus on women's health in this country why have we made this a situation where we have combined a lot of issues and really not focused on the uh, on this issue i'll give you some again some very interesting examples yeah um many years ago in i think 2009 i was heading another company and we launched uh, the first cervical cancer vaccine in india and at that time i remember eight women used to die every hour due to cervical cancer the amount of opposition that we saw from different quarters including a parliamentary panel was set up that is it really necessary in this country and today where are we today the situation after 15 years is that government is now insisting to put it in the government scheme of essential vaccines it's taken 15 years the issue moved it and why should it take 15 years to move this issue that is the kind of challenge we see in women's health diseases and uh, more than that again one more statistic to look at and of course it kind of resembles the treatment situation is uh, one of the important factors for gdp growth as they calculate factors behind growth is something called wilf how many of you know what is wilf okay it's women in labor force women in labor force is a very very important constituent to determine how country's growth progresses again in india the percentage is 20% so if you see many times over the issue comes of why these percentages are so low 
you look at a country you know fast growing country like vietnam it is crossing 55 60% of uh, wilf and then vietnam is growing at such a fast clip yeah so there are indications china the same thing happened that china's growth coincided with wilf going up so there are many factors that are influencing and telling us that why women's health needs to be at the cornerstone or at the table of everybody now if that is the case how can we change it the issue today is that how can we manage to change a lot of these stuff and i think one of the big factors that we are seeing which is allowing us to do this is the advent of technology that is enabling us to incorporate a lot of information which can help people and that's where the startups we need more and more startups who are focusing on women self are there they are starting to sprout in one place or the other you know there's a there's a startup which is reaching out now to roughly around 300000 pregnant women in this country trying to tell them what is healthy what you need to eat what you need to do but again when i scan that there are so many things that are not still incorporated in that also for example simple thing like should there be a blood test do you realize how many people lose their life uh, in that period because of being rh negative women and not being known that they are rh negative just the blood, blood group so the incorporation of having that as information and hand holding maybe uh, with a birth cohort of 25 million if you start hand holding roughly around let's say even 10 12 million you're talking a large number to incorporate that then there are now i i came across a startup hand holding people from uh, women from the age group of about 40 to 55 i think they are trying to work through the hormonal changes of women and trying to take hand hold them because at that time it is not just treatment but it's also counseling it's also helping uh, women through that process so we are starting to now see constitutionally in a way uh, throughout the women's life german journey how are people starting to focus on different things um is this enough probably not because i think as you see more and more women participating in in workforce as you see more and more uh you know women getting out of their homes in this country which has to happen and which which is probably happening at a much rapid rate than what we can think today more and more health issues will come up the reason being as economically independent people become the more health seeking behavior will come up and at that stage probably the established centers will not be able to take care of it i don't think that load is easily manageable today even we go to a tertiary care center in bangalore you go to uh, one of the tertiary care centers and you have to wait to wait for several hours before you get everything done so that situation is not going to change so at that time the biggest help that we can see is through through technology through the startups are things going to change um you know one of the designs that i keep thinking about and uh, i'm thinking how to work this out now these days is that how do you create an information center a center which allows you to provide ecosystem a center that allows women to talk to other women about their their conditions freely how do they get to a medical center with a simple understanding of uh, where they live and what they need how do you get all this together so how do you get information in how do you create content by which uh, it's more audio visual in nature so that people listen there is some attention span that you get how do you get all uh, the the medical professionals to start talking on that um, particular platform so as we looked at all this we realized that there is a big design that can be created around it and one of the big startups that we think is going to be possible in this country is to create a complete ecosystem around women's health because of that um is it something that will take some time probably it might take some time but probably if you look at the overall design of this you will realize that you can really contribute significantly because the uh, in a way the, the technology literacy or the mobile literacy in this country is very high so you have to utilize strengths that are there in the country to do that um one of the one of the thoughts that 
keeps going on in our mind also is the fact that uh, treatment doesn't reach in time. For many diseases, this happens. But the treatment not reaching in time is because of the lack of enough and adequate attention paid to women's health at home. And therefore, the treatment starts late or the situation arises in such a way that uh, unless it is acute and serious enough, the reach to treatment doesn't happen. How do you encourage more people to talk about their diseases uh, or their situations, conditions? And that kind of awareness is not really possible by, uh, by just talking about here and there. So how do you use technology for it? So in, 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 in Uttar Pradesh with the government, we did something on, uh, on RH negative women. Hmm? We created jingles and gave it to the government. The government ran it for nearly six months. And what you, uh, lo and behold, you, start, you started seeing more women in villages coming and trying to discuss with their uh, district hospitals to say, oh, what is this being talked about? Do I need to check myself? So more pregnant women started checking. So there is a possibility of doing this and the impact of this is you know, solid. So it, it actually starts to grow up rapidly. So uh, the more you try and work this out, the more startups that get encouraged for this, um, the more probably the benefit we will see. Uh, we, as a company, also are trying to ensure that we support startups. What we have started to do is that we tell them that, look, you know, come to and come and talk to us. Especially if it's about women's health, come and talk to us. We will ensure that we write down your commercial risk, that the commercial risk is completely taken over by us. You continue to focus on the product that you are developing or whatever ideas you are developing. You continue to focus on that, hand over the commercial risk to us. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, at least your money and your time is not wasted on trying to commercially venture out. Now that is encouraging people. So we now have started to create a good ecosystem by which many startups are walking up to us and saying, okay, can, uh, can we discuss some of these things. And we are starting to see that many startups are also starting to focus on women's health, especially uh, Bangalore, we saw a lot of people coming to us from. You know, Bangalore is one city, it is incidental that you are having this session here, but we are see, starting to see this. And therefore, I think the more encouragement we provide, uh, probably we need more people to participate in this, more companies to participate in this, more government bodies to participate in it. Uh, we keep talking to a lot of state governments and we see that they are wanting to get involved. There are at least four or five state governments that are starting to wanting to get involved with us on the startup ecosystem. But clearly the future and the opportunity is so big. Uh, it's unbelievably big the amount of, uh, uh, amount of women that can come into the treatment arena. Uh, imagine 80% of women in India don't fall in that bracket right now. So it is going to be a gigantic space. My only, you know, two thoughts here is that really as companies, as individuals, as society, let's start thinking about how women's health can be encouraged. And it is not about just startups. You know, this just that this is today's topic is about startups. So we talk about it. But in general, the deficit that we see in women's health is so huge in this country that the more we speak about it, the more we talk about it openly, we will encourage more health seeking behavior. So my only, let's say, submission today is that each one of us here start looking at it from today onwards that look, you know, ensure that women around you and ensure that they take their health more seriously, ensure that they get to speak to the medical professionals in time, ensure that you spread the word about how their health is important and probably we might see a far different society for the future. Thank you very much.